Ready when you are. Roger. Guardian Shield! No time for a break. And that's a wrap. Naturally. Or I'll have you fired. Whoa, hey now.
weather here in Sherrillton sure is nicer than it is in Ajul. Did you come here from Ajul? We did. We came in through Sapstrath Sea Haven. Well, good on you for making it all this way. I bet going through that checkpoint wasn't much fun. Uh, it wasn't that bad. We used to be able to trade with Ajul freely. But now, with all these new regulations, it's almost impossible to do business. I've heard things are getting weird at Fort Gandala, too. I hear they're working on some kind of big-time spirit art. You think it's for war? It could well be. Between Rashigal and Ajul? But why? I'm sure you've seen how the King of Rashigal has been consolidating power around himself. While on the other hand, the King of Ajul is some great hero who united all of the tribes by force. Two strong rulers in two neighboring countries. It's only natural they'd start bumping against each other. There've been skirmishes, but we haven't had open war since the Battle of Fezabel 20 years ago. Hey, this could be the business opportunity of a lifetime. <sighs> I'm sure it's possible. But the people who got greedy during the last war were the first ones to die. Yeah, you're right. These new inspections have been pretty devastating to our business already. Hey, don't let it get you down. War isn't a certainty yet. War, huh? Never asked me over for tea before. It seems I'm a bit excited. Soldiers. Wait. Who was that? Have our guests departed? Welcome back. Brought your friends, I see. Klein, let me introduce you. Oh, um, I never got their names. I hear you came to my sister's aid. I'm Klein Cheryl. I'm Drissel's older brother, as you've no doubt guessed. Lord Klein is the governor here in Sherrillton. Really? How rude of us to keep you waiting outside. Please, let's continue our conversation in comfort. I see. 
So you protected my sister from wasting her money on worthless trinkets again. It's not worthless. Besides, I got a good deal and made some new friends in the bargain. Wahey! <laughs> Rowan, please look after our guests. It would be my pleasure, sir. I have some matters to attend to, if you will excuse me. I've got to run, too. Huh? Nature calls. I better leave now before things get messy. some great journey, right? You simply must tell me all about your travels. Mm, well, um... I've never even been out of this town. I want to hear all about the faraway places you've been. I've never been outside either. But then... Ellie became pals with Jude and everyone. We crossed mighty oceans and explored forbidden forests. We saw giant waves and toadstools that made everyone cry. You actually sailed across the sea, Ellie? I've never even seen the sea before. What was it like? It's vast and wild, teeming with dangerous creatures. There are giant octopuses pretending to be rocks. Rock octopuses? You don't say! And fish and eels and clams. Oh, I've seen clams. Uh, the shells anyway. They sell shell jewelry in the shops in the plaza. It's all so gorgeous. That sounds really nice. I'll give you one of my favorite pieces as a present next time. As a token of our friendship. Icky clams turned into pretty jewelry? This I gotta see! So giving presents is a way to establish friendship? Uh, why yes. To the giver, a present is a symbol of trust. To the receiver, a present serves as a warm reminder of our friendship. And getting stuff for free doesn't stink either. I see. <laughs> it would appear my young mistress has made some very good friends. Make yourselves at home. Help yourself to tea and treats. You certainly seem in good spirits. I am. Look how happy Elise is. It's a real relief. She's been through so much lately. So have you, especially considering how much you obsess over the well-being of others. 